him back for four here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading the right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range. You're getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves it. He loves it. He loves it. begins our referee in charge Dan Mergliata and now this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro Brazil <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 198 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster, especially. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep the score off. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Take too many of those. Can't take many of those. You better check. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, beautiful hook by Lee. Takedown defense holds up. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing crunch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. 
Oh, nice right hand. And there comes the separation now. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. He's throwing every part of himself and hitting big leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice kick there by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Left hand punch for Clinch. Ooh! Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And the student has certainly followed up on that pair. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Big kick land. Oh, single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Lee's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out but it does excite me for the next round. by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, and you see on that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. Oh, heavy kick to that lead leg. That'll leave a mark. Oh! Just out of range with that strike. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's up, but he is certain for certain the finish could come at any time. A little single collar tie there. Some nice back and forth action here. Continues to work the body here. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, huge block. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Beautiful hand skills here. The right, then the left. Oh, Superman punch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Effective punch there by Lee. All right, he closes the... That is how he scrambled, folks. Look at him whip his hip into that kiss. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy being very accurate. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Lands the right hand. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Huge block there. Look at the whip action. Come on, let's get this together now, all right? 
Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. to the body here, another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Right hand upstairs! Look at him drive his shin into the corner of the body with that body kick. Now connects with a right. Big kick lands. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rivellano is going to stop this contest at 30 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by the Assassin. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'll be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.